This is VOA News. I'm Steve Miller. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has agreed to forward to Parliament Sweden's bid to join the NATO military alliance, says NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Monday, the eve of the NATO summit in Vilnius. Completing Sweden's accession to NATO is an historic step that benefits the security of all NATO allies at this critical time. It makes us all stronger and safer. Erdogan has said Sweden harbors members of militant groups, mainly supporters of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, who he accuses of organizing demonstrations and financing terrorist groups, while anti-Turkish protests in Stockholm have also raised his ire. At the NATO summit in Vilnius, Lithuania this week, a main question will be whether Ukraine should join the alliance, even though there will be no vote on the issue. We hear more from VOA Eastern Europe Bureau Chief Miroslava Gangadze. Lithuania's former defense minister, Rasa Juknevasin, a member of the European Parliament, says NATO's members in Eastern Europe are its biggest proponents. In contrast to many NATO member states, the U.S. and Germany think Ukraine isn't ready yet politically or militarily and are worried that welcoming Ukraine could eventually drag the alliance into a direct conflict with Russia. Miroslava Gungadze, VOA News. A 6.6 magnitude earthquake struck Monday in the Atlantic Ocean near the northern Caribbean, causing some buildings to lightly sway in the region. The USGS says it struck at a shallow depth of 10 kilometers. The epicenter was located about 270 kilometers northeast of Antigua and Barbuda. For additional stories 24 hours a day, visit our website. This is VOA News. Relentless rain and floods in the northwest, northeast rather, where at least one person has been killed and others have been rescued, including from cars floating in floodwaters. We hear more from Julie Walker of the Associated Press. Vermont Governor Phil Scott says swift water rescue teams have been hard at work, especially in the Green Mountains, where at least two towns were inaccessible. We have not seen rain fall like this since Irene, and in some places, It will surpass even that. Tropical storm Irene dumped 11 inches on Vermont. New York Governor Kathy Hochul says parts of the Hudson Valley are devastated with roads washed away. Nine inches of rain in this community that they're calling this a 1,000 year event. A woman trying to escape rising floodwaters in her home was killed. Was with her dog and her fiance literally saw her swept away. I'm Julie Walker. Nigerian President Bola Timbu has been named to lead the Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS. Timbu said he would focus on fighting growing insecurity and terrorism in West Africa and promoting democracy among member states after a series of military coups. Timothy Abizu has the story. West African leaders chose Tinubu as the regional bloc's chair for the next year, taking over from Guinea-Bissau's Umaru Sisoko Mbalo. Tinubu's appointment as ECOWAS chief may be poorly timed as the new president's political opponents in Nigeria are still challenging his election victory in court. Tinubu said Nigeria will host an ECOWAS summit on trade and investment in October as part of his vision for regional economic recovery. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News. A volcano in southwestern Iceland has begun erupting 11 months after its last eruption officially ended. Monday's eruption is an uninhabited valley near the Litlihurtur mountain, some 30 kilometers southwest of the capital of Reykjavik. The eruptions did not cause damage or disruptions to flights despite being near the Kefalik Airport, Iceland's international air traffic hub. With tensions surrounding Guatemala's June 25th election heightening, President Alejandro Guillamate has taken the unusual step of publishing an open letter saying that he has no intention of staying in power beyond his term. Two weeks have passed since electoral officers identified two presidential candidates to face off in the August 20th runoff election, but courts have intervened at the request of some political parties and blocked certification of the results. Follow Voice of America on social media for additional updates. I'm Steve Miller, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.